Everybody seems so excited that we made it back from the Riviera in time for the party. Are you having a good time, Elena? Of course she's enjoying the party. How could such a pretty girl do otherwise? Party's okay, Aunt Judith. Not anything like Europe, though. <laughs> I don't suppose it is, but you must be glad to be back home with all your friends. I saw Bonnie a few minutes ago, and uh, I thought I saw Caroline, although she seemed much older than Caroline. It's nice to see them, but I haven't seen Matt anywhere. I wrote and told him we'd be back in time for the party. So that's why you're so glum. I thought you knew he's at football camp. Only a foolish man would stand up such a pretty girl. Excuse me? I don't think we've met. He's my new friend. He got me a drink in a pretty cup, just like Aunt Judith, see? <laughs> it was very nice of him to bring you a drink, Margaret. Did you remember to say please and thank you? I remember, just like he told me to, please and thank you. When I handed her the glass, she said please and thank you. <laughs> I only met Mr. Smith a few minutes ago when he was nice enough to bring Margaret back to me. I was nearly frantic. I only turned my back for a second and she was gone. Kids have a habit of disappearing with the blink of an eye. You can never be too careful. Margaret's not drinking champagne, is she? Champagne? Oh no, it's ginger ale. <laughs> Don't worry, Elena. Mr. Smith is a new teacher. He just arrived in town to start the school year. You're a teacher? As a matter of fact, yes. I am a teacher. A student biology teacher, to be exact. Student biology teacher? Will you be teaching high school? That's me, Damon Smith, scourge of the bio and advanced bio classes. I'm also low man on the totem pole and in charge of the Spirit of Fells Church display. <laughs> I guess I'll see you in class then. I think I'm being dismissed. Ladies, if you'll excuse me, I need to speak with Mr. Richards before he leaves tonight. I'll see you at school, Elena. How much longer do you want to stay, Aunt Judith? I should go and see who else is here. Go mingle for a while, Elena, but we won't be staying much longer. It's already way past Margaret's bedtime. I'm not sleepy. I'm oh. going to go play. Oh, dear. Now she'll break something we can't afford. I'll have to go get her. Uh, I'll come and get you, Elena, when we're ready to leave. Elena, it's so great to see you. I should have known you'd make it back for such a major party. How was the Riviera? This isn't a major party, Bonnie. I went to some real parties in France. Oh, sure. This is the only fun I've had all summer, and now you tell me it's nothing? You're a heartless, Elena Gilbert. And I'll bet you didn't even bring me a souvenir home, did you? Of course I did. And you're right. This isn't a bad party for Fell's Church. Anyway, I'm sorry your summer was such a drag. 
My summer hasn't been so bad. Mr. Richards has been keeping me busy, and the work's really interesting. But my social life has been practically non-existent. I mean, there weren't any decent parties. Unless you consider partying with Vicki Bennett or Tyler Smallwood decent. Which I don't. I thought you and Ray were an item. What happened? To tell the truth, Ray's kind of bugging about my new job. I mean, his mom's really superstitious. I think she's passed it on to him. I get really tired of him watching me like I'm going to grow two heads or something. We're kind of cool in it for now. You're not handling anything, um, dangerous in this new job, are you? <laughs> not unless it's possible to choke to death on dust. There are a few boxes Mr. Richards won't let me touch. Like the one his new artifact came in, but nothing seems dangerous. What does Mr. Richards do with this collection? Mostly he's researching things that I've cataloged. But lately he's been locked away with some new artifact he got. The reporter even came the other day to interview him about it. I wonder when it's going to be in the paper. I should go ask. Welcome home, Elena. My, how the summer has flown. Tell me, how was your trip to Europe? Been to Europe, eh? So that's what Bonnie's been bubbling about the past few days. I don't suppose you came across anything of supernatural interest while you were there, did you? For heaven's sake, Gary. It's bad enough that you have Bonnie handling all those psychically charged things. I'm hurt, Mrs. Flowers. It was just a harmless question. And do you honestly believe that I would allow Bonnie to access anything potentially dangerous? You know my feelings on the matter. We don't need to discuss it here. You got back just in time for the art gallery's grand opening. What do you think of it? I'm sorry, Mr. Richards. The only thing supernatural I saw in Europe was the guys. They were positively to die for. I should have known. Apparently Bonnie isn't as atypical as I thought. But there's no harm in asking. Bonnie's a bit more effervescent than Elena, Gary. But they're both still young. You do remember what it was like to be young, don't you? I was young once, yes. But I don't believe I was ever so distracted. I started my vocation early. I acquired a painting of the Delphi Oracle when I was only 16. From that moment on, I knew I'd be a passionate collector. What's the Delphi Oracle? In ancient Greece, Delphi was considered to be the center of the world. There was a priestess there called the Pythia. She was an oracle which means that she went into a trance and predicted the future. That's true, Elena. But it's also true that every one of her predictions had more than one meaning. You had to be very careful about what interpretation you followed. Her words could lead you to fortune or disaster. Pythia sounds a little like Bonnie. She does that sort of thing all the time. I give up. Now I know why I never went into teaching. You can't teach teenagers anything. They already know it all. Well, it's obvious I've stayed too long already. Good night. He can be so touchy sometimes. Pay no attention to him, Elena. He has some kind of new addition to his collection, and he's been mad as a hornet all night about being dragged away from it. Well... Mr. Sunshine has a point. It's late. I better go find out if Aunt Judith is ready to leave. I'll talk to you later, Mrs. Flowers. Of course, child. Give your aunt my best, will you? And I'm sure I'll see you again soon.
Why, Mikhail, look what the cat dragged in. Elena, dear, how sweet of you to dash right over from the plane. And you didn't even take time to tidy up. I'm flattered. Wonderful. It was so nice of you to join me for the christening of my humble art gallery. It looks like you must have been working pretty hard up to the last minute yourself, Caroline. I guess beauty is a small sacrifice for art, right? What would you know about sacrifices, Elena? You always get what you want. But Mikhail has taught me that true beauty in art or in life is worth sacrificing anything for, even friends. Then it's a pity you don't have many friends to sacrifice, isn't it? I have all the friends I need, Elena. At least the only ones that are important. Isn't that right, Mikhail? Uh, pardon me? I'm, I'm sorry, Caroline. I, I didn't hear what you said. I said, isn't it important to have friends? Friends are always important. Especially when one has no family and is new to an area. But please, tell me, who is this lovely creature? A friend of yours, no doubt. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name is Elena Gilbert. Gilbert? I have heard that name once before. Uh, no matter, it will come to me. Uh, but please, <laughs> I am no sir. Where I am from, that is a title reserved for sars and nobles, not shopkeepers. <laughs> Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Mikhail Romanov, proprietor of this establishment. Don't let his modesty fool you. Mikhail has some of the most amazing contacts in the art world. It's been an honor working so closely with him these last few weeks. Such contacts are merely human, Caroline. It means to an end. The art is what is important. Where did you find all of this beautiful artwork, Mr. Romanoff? This area of your country is rich with antiques and undiscovered artists. Speaking of undiscovered artists, have you had a chance to talk to Mrs. Flowers, Mikhail? <laughs> Well, there are so many people here, I hardly know whom I have met. And I'll be happy to take you over and introduce you. You do have that whole other wing to fill, you know. Of course, you are right. Always looking out for the welfare of the gallery. <laughs> ah, now I remember. Uh, please, tell your Aunt Judith and your charming sister that I would be happy to join your family for dinner some evening. But now, you must excuse us, dear Elena. Duty calls. <laughs> 